Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stamp. Today I'm going to show you how to create this red sky looking. Um, just to show you, this is the first car I made with a brayer and uh, I was showing the people how to create this corset move with a masking tape. But uh, one time I saw a poster and I saw this beautiful sky. I said, hmm, that will make a nice background. So I was playing around it and figured out how to create this uh, beautiful sky. It's very easy and I would like to share with you how to um, do it. So we're going to use our Wolf stamp set and we are going to use the silence background. I love this silence background. I do use it a lot. So it just creates a beautiful back looking. We are going to use the mem uh, memory die base impact. It's black. If you don't have it, you can use a Stazon. Few impact and the uh, makeup sponge is very important and the few um, um, die base impact. If you don't have this impact, that's okay. You can use any kind of die base impact. It will work just fine. Tin Hose Distract Ink is actually awesome. They are very moisture. We uh, want to use uh, more um, juicy impact to create this background. Okay. I'm going to show you how to create this uh, beautiful um, looking. In my tutorial, every tutorial, I'm trying to show you a great tips. So in this tutorial, the tip is, this is a multi-color impact from the Zucchini Co. It's a Kaleidos color. So when you see the impact, it don't really see the color. When um, um, it's on the impact, it looks like this color. It's on the paper, they are totally looks like something, uh, uh, something different. So I'm going to use the glossy paper. Remember, glossy paper is not photo paper. If you don't have it, just use a regular cardstock or you can buy the good quality paper from Marcos Paper. Check their website. So this is a glossy, it's a high glossy. What I do is uh, I want to uh, create some kind of color chart. So I put my glossy paper on, on, on the impact directly like this and then just rub with my finger. So that way I can see the color better is on the paper it is different on the paper and different on the impact. So when I create this color chart, it's just helping me uh, for my next step. So next step, when I want to choose the, uh, choose the color, I can see better. So this is a great tip and I, I hope you use it and let me know if you like it. Okay, so we are gonna start it. Aren't you exciting? So what I did is I used um, uh, the memory impact to stamp my uh, silence background on the glossy paper. And uh, you can use a stays um, and uh, make sure that you need to use a water resist the permanent impact on your uh, for your um, tree because uh, when we rub the color, if you just use a regular impact, they are going to be smeared. After you stamp it, you're going to leave uh, for at least 10 minutes. Make sure your black ink is completely dry before you apply the color on top. So I am going to put my wolf in the corner. So this is the first car I made and I put the moon in the middle. So when I put my wolf here, it's kind of um, covered my moon. So I'm, I learned my lesson and and uh, make sure this time I'm going to put my moon on the right side corner so that way I can um, see better. So this is a masking tape, it's called Ecl Eclipse. Unfortunately, this tape has been discontinued. If you have a hard time to find this tape, don't worry, just use the post notes, um, those kind of yellow uh, sticky paper. Um, you can just use a circle punch to punch it. You can also create a nice uh, masking. Um, but the check or other tutorial how to use the masking, um, how, how to create a masking technique. On my other tutorial, there's a, a different technique to how to create a masking, um, masking tape with the painter's tape. So make sure you check it out. So you stamp first and then you place the moon. If you like a croissant moon, just use a um, circle punch, punch one more time. You want to stamp your image first and then you place your moon. If you put your moon first and then stamp your tree, your tree is going to have a hole. <laughs> we don't want that. So we're going to put uh, our uh, masking tape here. And then remember, I always say, don't try to rub with your finger. Always put the uh, scrap paper and then rub. So that way, if your finger is dirty, you won't, um, mm, you won't make your um, car dirty. So that's how it keep clean. Okay. So there's one more tip. We need 
need a juicy impact. If you don't have a juicy impact, you can buy the impact refresher, uh, refreshener. So this is just the water. I always re-ink re my impact. So my impact is very moisture. Or what else you can do? You can, you can moisture your makeup sponge. Just uh, um, spray a little bit water, make it not too dry. Okay, see my first tip, um, I created this color chart. So the color chart is help you to see better when the color is on the paper. Like this purple is really nice lavender color. So makeup sponge you can buy from the Walmart. They are just regular makeup sponge, okay? Try to find a little bit fine one. For this card, the trick is the purple. You know, um, if you are not sure what color you use, go to internet, find some sunset color, and then print it out to help you to apply. Or you can print my uh, sample out to help you. So we're gonna use a clean makeup sponge, just to pick a little bit purple. Remember, always brush your impact, don't tap. So that way your impact will leave a little bit longer. So you're gonna apply the color directly on your, um, your paper. You always start from your scrap paper. Don't start from your um, your car because if you start on top of your car, you're going to create a star line. That's very um, ugly. So always start from your scrap paper. Just uh, apply. So when you you have to ink your um, makeup sponge all the time. When you apply, try to push down and the gently laugh out. So that way you start with a darker color and get a lighter color. So apply this purple. This purple is very tricky, you know, it's very important. So that's the purple. You're gonna rotate it, pick up the more purple and apply a little bit more. So one direction only. Apply all the true, all, all the way Okay, one direction and you do have to ink your makeup sponge all the time. So that's nice purple. And then now I am going to change my uh, makeup sponge. If you find it's too dry, they don't really move, sprinkle with a little bit water. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up the orange. So this is a nice orange. You see my color chart, uh, nice orange. And then again, start from your scrap paper. Okay, rub the color. See the color, they are already blending together. Nice color, up, button, again, rotate, always outside in. Okay, don't stop me though. Gently lift your makeup sponge. Okay, so that's the orange. And then um, with the same makeup sponge, you are going to um, use a darker red or magenta or between. It's okay, they are the red tone. So just rub the color. Rob, okay, Rob, don't tap. Sometimes forgot. One direction, okay, that's pretty much nice. And then we are going to use the other makeup sponge. We are going to pick up this darker purple between the purple and the magenta, okay? And then one direction, Rob, one direction, very important. One direction, rotate. Okay, one direction. looks pretty neat already. I kind of like this kind of white color. If you don't like it, add more. But I kind of like it, so I'm going to stop there. And then what you're going to do is, you can use uh, this black and then pick up a, a makeup sponge and then just apply a little bit color and then darken the outline. So when you apply, these techniques are very important. Always one direction only. You kind of turn it, like make a cake. They have a turning wheel. Um, we have an invisible one here, so it's turning. So one direction, turning your car, like a, your cake on the wheel. Okay, so turning. Okay, we make it all outside a little bit darker. Okay. That's it. Okay, now we are going to remove the moon, uh, the masking, so you can um, using a um, pickup tool. Okay, you can reuse this tape. Okay, see this is the one I used for last time. I keep it. I just uh, stick them on top of my um, the lid of my impact, and then you never know. Next time you can use it again. Okay, 
Now, what I'm gonna do is, you do need the one clean makeup sponge for the yellow. So, and make sure your yellow is clean. Like this impact, my yellow is kind of um, have a little bit red. I don't want that one. So I'm going to just uh, uh, pick up a clean yellow impact and then pick up the yellow color. You don't have to worry about it. As long as, um, because this is a lighter color, when you apply it directly on top, it's not going to ruin, um, you're, you're not going to lose that light green, uh, yellow. But if you use a darker color, you won't see the shape. But uh, So light on the dark is okay. Dark on the light is not. Dark on the light is going to color that one. And then you are going to use your makeup sponge. I'm going to pick a little bit orange, but not too much. Just a little bit. If you're not sure, testing on your scrap paper. And just uh, give a little bit touch up. And then the pink. So pink, my color chart, here's the pink. So pick up pink, you can open it, so that way maybe you get a more clean pink. And like rub here. Okay, one direction. That's it. See? Two car, two, um, the two, like a two technique, like a, but it turned out totally different looking. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna color a wolf. The wolf, you are going to use the markers, color the eyes at first. You can use the uh, local king markers, just color the eyes here. So I already pre-cut, so that, that way you don't have to watch me cut. And if you don't know how, just go to our website, check out the tutorial. Three impact. For the wolf, I like to add a little bit blue, okay? So you can do gray. Just gentle, so you're going to apply. You can use watercolor, color then, but I like a fast result. So a little bit blue on the T zone, a little bit on the um under the nose, and then a little bit ochre. Okay, and then a little bit darker brown. So you can try to use a gray color. They looks awesome too. Okay, like these. So our die cut is awesome. After you run through the machine, the, these parts are already pre-cut. If, if you put the foam tape under, you kind of created like a three um, di um three dimensional looking. So just pop out a little bit here. So what I did is I use my die cut also cut the one piece that, um cut um use the die cut cut the, uh, just a white card star to create some kind of shadow. And then after all, you just mount them together. This is a beautiful, natural looking car. I think it's a great car for guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Um, this is a preview for our next tutorial. Stay tuned. See you next time.